Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the Brugly channel. I'm Brugly, and yeah, I'm starting this video with a face cam because I felt like it. But this is the first compilation video that I've done in a very, very long time. So I thought I'd just throw a compilation together for you, and this specific one is about backrooms joke levels. So these are levels that are funny, humorous in some kind of way, kind of, but they're all submitted by you all from the Discord server. And the first joke level video I uploaded was like eight months ago, and the most recent one I uploaded was a couple weeks ago, so I decided to just throw them all together into a big compilation for you all to watch on this fine day. Hope you enjoy and thank you for watching, and I will see you at the end of the video for the outro. Peace. So first up for today's video is a level from Big Convoy called My Leg! Exclamation mark. This level is a survival difficulty of painful and is funny ouch and has a low entity count okay this level is literally just fred the fish from spongebob repeatedly saying my leg over and over and over again now sometimes he does say my face but it's mostly just my leg and that is literally it for the entire level itself like I said, the only entity here is obviously Fred, and to enter this magnificent, well-written level, you have to unalive due to a starfish on level 11,234, and to exit, you have to get beaten up by Fred himself to be sent back to level 0. This is the shortest one today, so I wanted to go ahead and get it out of the way, but I'd say we're off to a pretty strong start. Next up is a level from Silently called The Bin Rooms. This level has a survival difficulty of class contested, non-human, and there's an entity superiority as well as unsafe conditions for humanity. That sounds pretty fun, right? The Bin Rooms looks like level zero, but the only thing there is Bin. You've all seen Ben, you know Ben. He's the only entity here and literally is the only thing here besides like the walls and floors and stuff. Ben is very dangerous though because he can make anyone go insane very quickly because he just repeats words over and over again like yes and no and that stupid laugh thing that he does all the time. You know what I'm talking about. If you listen to him say this stuff for more than a couple minutes at a time, you will literally go insane. To enter this level, you have to call I show speed in real life and say the following code to him. Yes, yes, no, no, yes, no. And then you'll wake up in the bin rooms. <laughs> the good news is that you can actually exit, but uh, it's pretty much impossible. So I don't know why I said that. Because to leave, you have to stay here in the bin rooms for this amount of years. I'm not even gonna try to say it without going insane in order to be sent out. As far as bases and outposts go, the entry says that everyone went mentally insane. L-M-F-A-O-O-O-O-O rip bozo. And that's it. <laughs> oh man. This might be the best level that I've ever covered or received in a joke levels video. I'm not even kidding. Well done, sir. Well done. Next up is a fantastic level from Hissy Gamer called Level Go Outside. This level has a survival difficulty of too hard for you. Oh, come on, man. And it's unsafe, but only for Genshin Impact players, or however you pronounce it, I don't even know. The level itself looks like a quote, nice place where you should touch some dang grass and look at the nice, nice nature. I literally could not have said that better myself, man. I appreciate the way you spoke that. When you get to this level, and especially if you play Genshin Impact, you'll be forced to touch grass in the fields there, and if you don't do that, then Hissy Gamer themselves, the author of this level, will make you touch grass. The only group here is your mom, Expedition Group, and the only entities here are Hissy Gamer and the outside world. <laughs> and the only way you can enter is if you download Genshin Impact, and if you do that, you'll be sent here. If you want to exit, all you have to do is take a shower, then go outside and touch grass, and then uninstall the game. And you'll be fine. Sounds like a win-win to me. You know, I take back what I said about the Ben Rooms being the best entry I've ever gotten, because this, by far, is the new best entry I've ever covered. So these last two entries will actually be joke entities, because they're just hilarious and one of them i promised my discord i would go over but that'll be the last one but the first one up is entity 1874 aka skippy and was submitted by skippy over on the discord server 
Skippy is apparently 7 foot 1 inches tall and weighs 20 pounds, and his behavior has been described as quote, goofy, by other wanderers. Skippy actually has his own level cluster called the Skippy Rooms, but it's not recommended to travel into the Skippy Rooms because if you do, you'll apparently meet a fate worse than unaliving itself. Although Skippy does have his own level cluster, he's mainly found on level 188 and is always saying things like sussy to anyone he sees. <sighs> Skippy has also been seen trying to drag people back to the Skippy rooms with some of his weird appendages arms type things that he has, and he has apparently a 12 foot wingspan so you can't really run away from him. The only image we have of Skippy is this POV shot of him devouring a bowl of ramen which you can literally see how fierce this entity is, just based off of the way that he grabs the bowl. Truly scary stuff, ladies and gents. But yeah, that is literally it for this entry. I have at least 50,000 less brain cells now, but uh, we're still vibing. <sighs> and lastly for the video today is a joke submission that I promised my Discord that I would go over in this video. And it's submitted by Darth Cheese. The level, it is slightly vulgar though, so I'm going to censor the words out so Susan doesn't get angry at me. But the submission is called Ass Smilers. <laughs> yes, you heard that right. Ass Smilers. These Smilers are in some kind of way a Smiler subspecies that only live on level 8008 inside of people's ass and in toilets. <laughs> what am I, literally what am I reading bro? Now it's completely unknown how they get there, but the basic thought is that they can teleport. These smilers are said to be really painful and can cause someone to unalive almost 100% of the time if they choose so. Now they do let you leave, but I'll talk a little bit about that later. They are quote, unstoppable, they are inevitable. So good luck trying to avoid them if you're stuck in this level. They mainly live inside of toilets however on the level, and they actually will let you leave if your poop is big enough. I literally cannot make this up, like I'm having to type this out and then record it and then like edit it. <sighs> if these smilers like your poop enough, then they'll send you to a specific level based on how much they like it. Thank goodness this is over, I mean literally like sorry that you had to endure that as a listener. <laughs> Guesty called level flat. Oh gosh. This level has a survival difficulty of class flatty and is quote swaggy and real flat but it's also costa rica what does that even mean level flat is a huge grass field where you finally touch grass like the internet tells you to do and here's a direct quote from the entry this level is so flat and big that it's like your mom very poetic guesty for colonies and outposts, there's actually two of them, the Joes and the Mamas. And Joe, 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 I live inside of your walls. <laughs> what even is this, bro? You can't enter here or exit here because of a skill issue that you have. And yeah, that's literally it for the submission. Looks like the video was starting off pretty strong. Next up in this wonderful video, we have Foxy's level called Level Let's Go. This level has a difficulty of zero, and the only thing here is James and Chelsea's wedding, which James A. Janice is the host of Dead Meat, if you didn't know. Let me know down in the comments below if you also love the Dead Meat channel, because I do. That's why I included this joke submission, but uh, I think it's pretty funny that one of you literally submitted an entire level that's literally just James's wedding. Cool. Next is a very interesting level to say the least from our scene called a level criticize yourself for having no girlfriend lol lol <laughs> this level difficulty is your single l and has a three mental hazard warning on it pretty much when sent to this level you spawn in a huge white room with papers on the walls and floors that insult your existence for not having a girlfriend if you stay here for more than three minutes, you go insane and you start to say, I want a girlfriend over and over again. If you say it for more than three hours, you won't live. And if you somehow stop saying it and do end up living, an entity called balls will stab you with artificial balls. Lovely. To enter this level, all you have to do is stay in the back rooms for 18 years and make sure you don't get a girlfriend in that time. 
And to exit, all you have to do is pretty simple. You have to admit how cringy you are. And you'll be sent out of the level. I gotta be honest with you, this level is uh, canon now. So, the next level in this monstrosity of a video is I Stole Your NFT by Reich. I think that's how you say it. Not sure. The difficulty is 1 trillion for NFT owners and is unsecure for NFT owners as well. The only entity on this level is Reich themselves, and this entity is very dangerous because he'll literally just steal your NFT. Pretty much if someone buys an NFT in real life, then they're sent to this level and then stalked by Reich himself, and once he finds you, he'll screenshot your NFT and he'll take it away from you. I fully support this. All the homies hate NFTs. Next up is level potato. <laughs> Submitted by some. The survival difficulty is class potassium, and the level is safe and secure. The level is completely made out of potatoes because the walls and the floors and the ceilings and even your existence is all potato. This is who you are now. There is no escape. You and everything around you is a potato. Points for creativity, I guess. The second to last submission for this video comes from Very Smarto, and it's called Level Twitter. Oh gosh. The level has a survival difficulty of you're dead plus ratio plus no one asked. And physically, this level is a place in the back rooms where you're forced to use Twitter, which in turn turns you into a Twitter user, aka the worst fate imaginable. The entities here are other Twitter users, and the only base here is called Base Cancel Culture. <laughs> the listed entrance is, and I quote, for your sake, no. And finally, wrapping up this video is a level from Smilebird called Level Don't Go in the Backrooms at 3 a.m. Gone Wrong. Almost died. This level puts you in a cringy 3 a.m. video, specifically a video made by none other than morgues themselves. There's no way to escape this level, and you'll just die of a cringe attack. To enter the level, for whatever weird reasons you have, you have to yell morgues is cringe at exactly 3 a.m., and you can't even exit the level because the morgues entity will stop you. I gotta be honest with you, this one's probably more scary than it is funny, but, uh, Oh well. Is a Mr. Raccoon's level called Level Goldfish. This level has a survival difficulty of 5, and the description goes like this. A goldfish that wants to break your back and children's backs too, and watch you unalive slow. Okay, we're off to a good start. There's one entity here called the Goldfish God, and you can enter this level just by eating a goldfish. I mean, that's pretty easy, right? You can't exit it though, and you'll be chased around by a giant goldfish for eternity. Truly a masterpiece, truly. Next up is a level from Pew Blaster called Level Credit Card, which is classified as a class money, and on this level, your mom is here and you took her credit card. Run before she catches you. Specifically, you took your mom's credit card to buy Robux and other stuff. <laughs> There's actually two entities here. One of them is your mom, and the other one is the IRS. <laughs> okay. To enter this level, you have to find your mom's house in the back room somehow, and to exit, you have to evade your mom's capture until the IRS catches her first. Nice! The next level is called Level 13 Days of Brugmas from Trojan Prometheus. This level has a difficulty of Bruglic, meaning it's Brug safe, Brug secure, but is Brugly bunch infested. <laughs> oh no, that can be good. The level description goes like this, Brugly on crack. Nice. The level is basically level 1, but with the Brugly face reveal faces all over it. And if you're not careful, you will see Brugley grab you from the floor and you will disappear for an eternity. I can't make it up, that's what it says. The entities here are Big Brugley, which of course is me, and then the Brugley Bunch, which is described as, quote, a funny group of degenerates. It's honestly not too far off from the real thing, to be honest with you. 
On this level, there's actually a base called the Hall of the Brugley Bunch, where people worship Brugley, <laughs> and Brugmas is always being celebrated. Cool. To get to this awesome sounding level, you have to watch your Brugley video. Simple as that. And to exit. Well, to be honest with you, I don't think you need to. The next entry is from Massimo, and it's called The Bathrooms. It's classified as a class fard level and has poop smell. And quote, I forgot how to fard. Massimo is truly poetic with his words. The level looks like level zero, but it's a massive bathroom instead, and it smells terrible. And surviving here will be impossible. And here is a quote from Massimo himself that describes the true danger of this level. If you hear a fard, may God save you. End quote. <laughs> like, what is this? What is this? There are two entities here. One is called the Crapper, and the other one is called the Pea Slime. You can pretty much guess what those are. To enter this very clean and sanitary level, you have to, quote, fard on level zero. And to exit, all you have to do is poop yourself. This is what I have to go through, people. Next is a level from Andrew Nersh called Level Abacrumus. Oh gosh, I think I know where this might be going. The survival difficulty is... Sussy. The entire level is that you were spinning on an Among Us character. Like, that's the level, that's the entire thing. To enter, you have to get a Steam gift and to exit, you have to prove that you're sus. <laughs> so this is what it's really come to. Wow. The next level comes from Michael Jackson and is called Level Meatloaf. The level has a difficulty of, quote, choking hazard, and it looks like a huge table with a chair in the middle. On this level, you will be force-fed meatloaf for the rest of your life. Okay. To enter, you have to eat meatloaf on level 69, and to exit, you have to not choke on meatloaf. Man, these just keep getting better and better. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm joking, they're getting worse and worse and worse. <laughs> Lastly for today's video is from The Cool Kid, and it's called Level 4 Million, aka Assassinate the Large Soviet Pig. This level has a survival difficulty of Piggy, and the level looks like an old Soviet era town with a huge crowd of people surrounding this giant pig. No seriously, a giant pig. Your only goal on this level is to kill the giant pig. However, this isn't as easy as it seems because, well first off, there's hundreds of people surrounding the pig, and second of all, you have to be a good shot with a sniper, because that's all you spawn in the level with. And it's important that you hit the shots on the pig, because if the pig notices you, it will quote, fart so hard that your sense of smell will cease to exist. My tears grow every day. And if this somehow doesn't make you want to get out of there, then the pig will quote, fart again, but even louder, to the point of your ears bursting and unaliving yourself. Nice. The people in the crowd aren't even affected by this stuff. Also, apparently you can actually survive that second fart attack, but if you do, then the pig will chase you down, and trample you, and then eat you. So pretty much what I'm saying is, you just gotta hit your shots. To enter this level, for whatever demented reasons you have, you need to break a comically large piggy bank on any level. And to exit, just successfully shoot the pig, and then you'll have access to a car that will take you to level 69. Honestly, this level should be canon, and I'm not even kidding. The next level in today's lovely, lovely video comes from Alito One, and it's called Level Godzilla Flying Dropkick. Oh boy. This level has a survival difficulty of funny, and is a bad comedy, crappy, and there's a two kaiju to one robot ratio for entities. Nice to know, I guess. The level is described by Alito One as, quote, it was a funny bruh moment. For Godzilla just did a flying dropkick to beat up a Megalon, which apparently is this thing. Yeah, I didn't know that either. But that is the entire description of the level. Like, that's that's all. The only entrance to this level is by going to a theater in real life and watching an old Godzilla movie. And the only way to exit is to quote, run out of here. 
you know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll make sure to remember that when I'm being chased by Godzilla flying towards me feet first. I can't believe I just read that entire entry, bro. Next up is an entry from Shadow Knight 620 called The Cage Rooms. This is a very dangerous level and is classified as a class 4 survival difficulty. The description of the level says it looks like a typical house, but it has pictures and cutouts of Nicolas Cage faces on everything. Everything. And Nicolas Cage himself is also an entity here. And you're gonna need to quote, run from Nicolas Cage, he will find you. And that's it. That's all they wrote. That's the entire entry. Cool. To enter the level, you gotta hold a picture of Nicolas Cage on level 69. <laughs> and to exit, you gotta give Nicolas Cage a picture of himself, and he'll send you back to level zero. There's also a meg base here called Outpost Cage. Pretty nice. Next is an entry from Cool Kid Balls called 19 Eyed Brugs. This description says, do not be afraid. He has come. Do not resist. And that's it. Like, that's the entire text box. Honestly, I'd be pretty scared too if I randomly glitched into the back rooms while walking to my nearest gas station and the first thing I saw was this. I mean, that's terrifying, right? Lastly for this video is an entry from Mr. Tide Pod called Level Mug. And it's a class 3 mug difficulty. Quote, Mug, mug, mug. <laughs> the level is described as a room full of mug cans. And to enter this room of mug, all you have to do is, quote, love mug for life. End quote. That's pretty easy, right? To exit, you just have to, quote, stop loving mug for life. End quote. I don't know, it's going to be pretty hard. The only entity here is the mug dog, which is always watching you from the cans. So if you like mug, if you like root beer, if you like the back rooms, this is the spot for you, man. Also, I think I'm gonna slap an honorable mention here at the end of the video called The Lean Rooms. Yeah, you heard that right. The Lean Rooms, which is literally just the pool rooms, but with purple water. Okay, that's it. Level, yes. And is classified as yes. The level looks like a very yes area, but the entities are not yes, though. <laughs> The level is a giant Chuck E. Cheese with an arcade and pizza and stuff everywhere, and there's even a game where you can catch a yes. If you win the game, you can cash in a yes for more yeses, and there is even a yes outpost and a yes colony here, and Rob Lee says they're both pretty yes, so that's good. As far as the entities go, there are not yeses, which are party poopers who constantly complain. The next entity is called a very yes, which is pretty much just a party goer, and then there's the yes prize machine, which gives out yes yeses for yes. The last entity is an animatronic pizza that walks around giving out pizzas to everyone. Nice. The main people on this level are the most yes people from the Discord, okay? Which is myself, Rob Lee, and Meg. Honestly, I'm just gonna say it. Yes. So for this next submission, if you somehow find the word nuts, offensive or whatever. I say it like 25,000 times in this entry, so just be warned, I guess. So this level was submitted by a legend over there on the Discord server called Baller. His level is called Level Nuts, and its survival difficulty is a class 5 because it's quote, itchy and cringe. I like the uh, descriptive words there, buddy. He says that Level Nuts consist of a ton of interconnecting hallways with the walls, the floor, and the ceilings being made out of a really thick, itchy carpet material. The second you enter this level, you'll start to itch all over, but especially, well, you're nuts. <laughs> what? The deeper you walk into this level, the more the itchiness will become unbearable. And at around the five mile mark, most people just give up and pass out, which will cause them to no clip through the floor and end up on a random level. To enter this level, you simply must say, my nuts itch. <laughs> on any level, and you'll be sit here. Nice. And like I said earlier, to exit, you just have to walk five miles until you pass out. Typical baller stuff though. Next up is EERP's level, called level monkeys. The survival difficulty is, well, monkey. And if you come here, you'll just instantly become a monkey. After you become a monkey, you'll notice this huge jungle where there's a bunch of other little huts and you and your monkey brethren will live here forever. There are no entities, only monkeys. And there are no colonies, only monkeys. 
Okay, nice. Next up is Bluesy Cobra's level, called level... I think he meant fish, but this is how he spelled it, people. I can't make this up. The survival difficulty is a dead zone. Nice. And the level looks like an ocean with deadly fish everywhere. And all of them look like this. Nice. That's literally all I got. But to make up for that level, Bluesy Cobra submitted another level called Level Brugly. The survival difficulty is a mental hazard. And the level looks like a tiny room where you're forced to watch, and I quote, Brahogli only owns videos for the rest of your life, and you never fall asleep. <laughs> what? Next is Inverted Jack's level, called Level Brugly as well. This level is a class 4, and it looks like an empty field of really tall purple grass. There are also rolling hills and fog in some of the areas as well. If you venture far enough into this level, you'll see something in a robe and in a really weird mask. The second you see that thing, you'll suddenly get the urge to follow it, and it'll lead you to a library that's full of books about the back rooms. At the desk, there's an entity just sitting there and reading. You can't take any of the books off the shelves because there's some kind of force field stopping you and there's no available food or water and there's no day or night cycle either so it's really easy to lose track of time really quickly here the entities on this level are called the cult members and these are the entities that were in the robes and the masks and you follow that one here and you'll actually get a headache if you look at one of them for too long if you speak to one of them they'll only say one word bread if you know you know the last entity is called wise man brugly this is the entity that was at the desk that has read every book on the back rooms possible brugly looks like a human but is really tall and skinny with a huge forehead and a ton of eyes yeah so pretty much me in real life the entity has a vast amount of knowledge about the back rooms and the front rooms so he will answer your questions if you ask nicely if you wait here for too long though the cult members will be told to eat you okay <laughs> to enter this level you can open up any book about the back rooms that you find on any other levels and to exit you have to ask wise man brugly how do i leave nice the next level is submitted by another patron named assassinators his level is called yoinky sploinky <laughs> what the survival difficulty is as follows bread crust ice White bread is better. PB and J. Nice. That yoinky sploinky consists of. Let me make sure I'm getting this right. Yo mama taking up the whole room. <laughs> Her sheer weight is enough to break the fabric of reality itself. She only eats the crusts of bread in order to stay healthy. That doesn't seem to be working. Yo mama is the only entity here. And if you're not careful, she'll engulf you at will. There's actually an outpost here called the Yo Papas, and he's the exact opposite. He's tall and skinny and has a tin pack. Like a Brugly. Yup! Yo Papa makes you remember how you would eat your candy like a filthy rat. What is this, bro? To enter this level, you have to gain over a thousand pounds on level 6.1, and to exit, you have to go back 50 pounds by joining the Papas. <laughs> Next up is a pretty simple level from Sonic Blaster called Level Cheese, and the survival difficulty is, well, cheese. It's cheese safe and cheese secure, and too much cheese is everywhere. The only entity here is the Cheese Man, which, as you can tell, is a man made out of cheese, and the only colony here is the Cheese Factory. You know, I wonder if this guy likes cheese. Next up is a Mugs level called Level 69. The survival difficulty is nice, and you can't stop saying nice. Nice. And lastly, for this pilot episode of the fan-made joke levels, we have a level from Meg called Level Among Us. Nice. Nice isn't the part of the name, I just said nice because, well, whatever. Among Us is class 5, and is unsafe and unsecure, and it's infested with entities. This level probably is one of the worst levels here, and the sound that's being constantly played will make you go insane if you listen to it for long. So whatever you do, please don't no clip here. That's a quote from Meg. The entities are the Among Us, which will end you instantly if you see one. And then there's the sounds, which are entities that literally emit a noise that makes you go insane at lightning speed. And there's no data on how to enter or exit. Nice stuff. All right, everybody, I hope you did enjoy the video. I thought it was pretty funny. And if you also thought it was funny, well, I appreciate you. Make sure to check out the description below for any of the links you might want, Twitter, Discord, Toogly, and my third and new channel, Spoogly where I'm going to be uploading SCP readings, cryptid encounters, missing 411 encounters, pretty much anything paranormal or real. 
cryptid, that kind of stuff. I mean, I love that kind of stuff. It's not true crime. I don't like true crime that much. I like cryptid encounters, UFO encounters, stuff, and SCPs, and all that is just going to be on my channel. Hope you're ready. Uh, the majority of the videos are going to be like this, with this chill face cam, a little bit, you know, obviously darker lighting, and it'll be a very relaxed video style. There'll be longer videos, and I really, really think you're going to enjoy what's going up over there. Uh, I'm going to travel to a bunch of the places where these disappearances happen and I'm gonna make the videos at that location so I, I think it's gonna be awesome I really hope you're ready for it thank you for supporting me um, let me know if you like the face cam at the beginning and ends of videos because I'll do it more if you like it I do face cam on my second channel Toogly a lot so if you want more of this just go over there I guess thank you for watching I'll see you later